Hello everybody, it is Weather Storm Lord. Happy President's Day. And today we are going to uh, take a look at the schedule of this year's 2024 statewide tornado drill tour. So, let's take a look at some of the drills that have already happened. We have the Florida statewide drill and the Georgia statewide drill. The Georgia drill took place on February 7th at 9 a.m. And that was sent as a routine weekly test, continuing the format from past years. Uh, I did not record that drill because the station I was trying to record from never activated it. And when they tried, it, all I got was beeping. I got nothing else. Then, an hour later, at 10 a.m., was Florida's statewide drill, also as a routine weekly test. I did not record that one because I could not, and I was at school. Then, here comes the confusing part. I don't know what time this occurred. I'm assuming 10 o'clock, uh, correction, 9 a.m. Central Time came Alabama's not quite statewide drill. I heard that Birmingham sent out a routine weekly test for it, and I know that Mobile sent out either a root I think a routine weekly test for it as well, but I heard nothing from Huntsville, so I think it was just that region. Now, let's take a look ahead. Oh, and before I forget, Louisiana's drill, I don't know what time it was, but I do know it was also sent as a routine weekly test on February 14th. So a little Valentine's Day action there. Now, let's look ahead to drills that are coming up. We have a mountain of them this year. So let's start with Tennessee. That occurs on February 28th, and I believe that will be sent as a routine weekly test. Um, because a majority of states are going to do that this year, but no. So... That will be sent, I believe it's set at 9.30 or 45 or Central or 10.30 Eastern Time. I doubt I'm going to get that one because of the timing, but who knows, I could get lucky. Now, here is a bigger week. Looking ahead to the week of March 6th. March 5th is for sure Illinois statewide drill. And that will be sent as a routine weekly test over NOAA weather radio and activate a majority of the state's outdoor warning sirens as a scheduled test, as most sirens in Illinois are tested the first Tuesday of every month at 10 a.m. So this will coincide with that. And then at 10.30 a.m., a required monthly test will be sent out to all AM and FM stations. Now, this is one I'm not so certain about, but I do believe Virginia's drill will be on the same day as a required monthly test. Generally, that is done at 9.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and I believe that's going to be the case, but don't quote me on that. Now, March 6th is going to be three or four different drills. We have North Carolina at 9.30 a.m., and that will be continuing the same format that they have in the past via a required monthly test over both NOAA Weather Radio and other networks. And that will be done like they have in the past. And then Kentucky, I am unsure of their history, but they will be sending their drill at approximately 10.07 a.m. I'm not sure why they do it at exactly 10.07. It would have been better just to do it at 10 or 10.10, maybe even 10.15. But that will be sent a test tornado warning so the first one that won't be sent as a weekly test and then i believe that will still sound outdoor warning sirens i don't know for sure if i have any learning day that day but if i do i will be sure to record those two for you but then here's a third one missouri and kansas are going to do their drill simultaneously and from what i've heard that will be sent via the required weekly test as well for both states, and I saw a note on a site that, th I don't know what site, that this is a change from past years in Missouri where a test tornado warning was actually issued. I can vouch for that in 2021 because I recorded that tornado drill, but I can't vouch for that in 2022 or 2023, but I believe that was sent using the required weekly test because of things I saw on YouTube but did not actually record. But that will be done at 11 a.m. Central Time, so a bit of a weird timing for the drill there. 
And then let's move on to the next week, because I believe those are all the drills that day. We have our home drill, Indiana Statewide Tornado Drill. That will occur on March 12th at around 10.15 a.m. And this one will be sent as a test tornado warning, just like Kentucky. So Indiana also has permission to do that. They've been doing it for at least 15 years now that way as a test tornado warning. Um, they've been doing it ever since I started YouTube. Even before that, I started listening to these drills in 2015, and they've been doing it as test tornado warnings ever since. And unlike most states are not stopping doing that, they're continuing to do it. Last year's um, was a little hard to hear, but it was really cool to understand if you were able to understand the audio of it um, from the live stream. I'm debating whether or not to do a statewide drill live stream this year because last time we didn't get any viewers, but that was because it was so early on. Um, and it was kind of a makeup stream. So uh, I'm not going to be home the day of the drill, but I am going to leave my recorder just like I did last year, recording off of my San Gian CL100 because it is on KJY93. And last year, at least, and in the majority of the years that I've been doing this, they have relayed both Indianapolis and Northern Indiana's test tornado warnings. And hopefully that will still be the case. Um, last year was a bit of a weird occurrence for this channel because you could actually hear the siren through the wall on the recording, which I was not intending, but was really cool. Um, that may happen again this year. It may not. So we will see. And then let's take a look at the day after. We have South Carolina's drill at 9 a.m. on March 13th. And that will be sent as a test tornado warning also. So continuing the test tornado warning theme here. They, can, they did that through 2021, and then they reverted to the usual required weekly test feature that 95% of the states use now. But this year, they are reverting back to the test tornado warning. As I saw on a site, again, don't know what site, I think it's weather.gov, that they had um, permission to go back to the tornado warning uh, format. Now, then we go about a week, and we have, I believe Michigan is and Ohio are on the same day. Ohio, I know for sure, is the 20th at 9.50 a.m. That will be sent as the usual routine weekly test that they have been doing for years now. Um, and there will also be Michigan at... 1 p.m., and I don't know the format of that, but if they continue with what they've been doing recently, then it should be still using a required weekly test, which is kind of disappointing because I thought they would still use the tornado warning code that they used up to 2019 and then changed in 2020, which is kind of disappointing. So then we get into a little bit of uncertainty with some of the states here, but I can tell you for sure that Iowa's statewide tornado drill will be March 27th at 10 a.m. And it looks like they're still going to use the required weekly test coding for that, which is also disappointing because um, the National Weather Service for that state used to do it as a tornado watch tornado warning format for several years up until 2021 when it showed that they were going to do the tornado watch 20 warning format, but they used the weekly test and did it way later. And I thought after their abysmal performance in 21 that they would revert back to the original format in 22. But they continued with the weekly test format at the 10 a.m. time frame, which is really disappointing. Nebraska's drill is going to be the same day at the same time. So it's kind of going to be one or the other for me. I'm probably going to use Omaha because they serve both Nebraska and Iowa. So they will relay that as one simultaneous drill. And then um, I'm not so sure of the timing of this, but I have a feeling that the Western Coast Tsunami Drill is going to be that same day. I don't know anything for that for sure, but in the past, they've been going with Iowa, so that's my assumption today. I don't know for sure if that 
is going to be the case. But we will see. And then um, I just realized one I forgot to mention. Um, the same, I believe it's going to be either the same day as Indiana or the day before Ohio. Um, but I believe their drill is going to be either March 12th or March 19th at 11 a.m. And I am unsure of the format. However, I do think that they will be sending that as a test tornado warning. However, like I said, I am unsure of that. So once I know more, I will release an updated episode of updates. But let's look at, we're moving into April now and... I have a speculation before we move on to our last confirmed date, and that is Maryland statewide tornado drill. I don't know what time that's going to be, but I suspect it's probably going to be April 10th. And for a while, they just did it as a special weather statement, but last year they changed the format to a required monthly test. So I suspect they're going to use that format again this year because Virginia uses it, North Carolina uses it, and now Maryland uses it, I think think. Pennsylvania doesn't have a drill. Um, I'm unsure of anything else except for Minnesota and Wisconsin. They conduct their drills simultaneously. And that was another bit of a disappointment for me in 2021 for the uh, afternoon drill because they used to do the tornado watch warning format. However, um, for some reason, they switched it up again to the weekly test format for both drills. They used to just do uh, a tornado watch and a tornado warning at 1 and 145, and then a test tornado warning again at 645 and or 655, depending on um, the location. But this year, um, I believe they're going to keep the weekly test. However, I don't know for sure, but I do believe that will be um, sent out to just no weather radio, but I know for sure it will be April 11th unless severe weather threatens, like it did last year, which actually postponed Wisconsin's drill, so there were actually four routine weekly tests issued. And I kind of wish I would have recorded it, but I kind of couldn't. But it occurs on April 11th at 1.45 p.m. and 6.45 p.m. And um, the, you guys have noticed that I have not talked about South Dakota Ever since I recorded their watch warning drill, that was my that that was and still is the best drill I have ever recorded because no state, to my knowledge, has used the tornado watch warning format since that in 2021, which is really unfortunate. So, um, and I believe South Dakota has actually stopped doing tornado drills, so I don't think there's going to be another statewide drill from them this year. Now, I believe that is everything that I know so far, so um, I will keep you guys informed of any future updates, and I will probably release a new episode um, in late March to let you know what has occurred and what will occur in the future. But that will be all from me today, um, and... We'll see you in the next video. Weather Storm Lord saying so long, everyone. Oh, real quick, before I end the video, um, I am working on a new severe weather story. This will be my last one for a while because I'm running out of ideas. But um, a big thanks to J24 for helping me with that one. But we will uh, see you guys then. Weather Storm Lord saying so long, everyone.